get ready for some Big Ten hoops. The Buckeyes in their white uniforms, red, gray, and black stripes on the outside. Penn State wearing their navy blue and white. Allie Brigham and Taylor Theory will take the tip. And Ohio State wins the tip here at Value City Arena. Your officials today, Kim Hobbs, Tim Daly, and Cameron Ayun. Ohio State coming off a win against Ohio University this past Tuesday, winning 85 to 45 in a dominant victory and a charging call called immediately against J.C. Sheldon. What a good job by Penn State's Pintu. We'll get another look at it here. Great. Shania Pintu. Yeah, that's exactly the stance you want to get in when you're taking a charge. And Penn State turning the ball over quickly on the full court press that Ohio State gives opponents a lot of trouble to this past season. How do you break this press? You know, that's, that's something that's going to be tough. And they went up against 40 minutes of pressure against West Virginia as well, and they struggled a lot. They had 26 turnovers. So that's something they need to play a pace of game that they're comfortable with, not get forced into rushing, which Ohio State likes to force their opponent into rushing their offense. Already a substitution, Tay Valaday checks into the game, and Chesky, who we talked about in the open, she's 19th in Big Ten scoring, checks out already. This Penn State team's made up of nine transfers this season, so a lot of new faces for head coach Carolyn Keeger. Tie game still here, with less than a minute into the game. Ohio State's Cody McMahon from the left wing for three. And that's off, but Celeste Taylor gets the offensive rebound. The tip from J.C. Sheldon way to start things off for the Scarlet and Gray. Now here comes Penn State, 7-2 and two on the season. The Lady Lions, third in the Big Ten this year in scoring, averaging 84 points a game. And as Hannah talked about, they lost to West Virginia this past Monday, 83-65. to They struggled in that game on the road, their first game in the top 25 in over 10 seasons, and they've turned the ball over for a second time, Anna. As I said, 26 turnovers against West Virginia, 18 of those came from the point guards. So, like we were saying, she coach was telling us she needs her point guards to slow it down and not get rushed. Ohio State, a defense first team. They say defense wins the majority of their games. This year, Ohio State's letting up 58 points per game. Penn State, 64. That's 12th out of the 14 teams of the Big Ten Conference. So you just talked about defense. They're in the bottom half of the rankings in terms of letting up points. I like Penn State's defense as well, though. They're putting a lot of pressure on the Buckeyes, who have a very strong offense as well. Miku Lashikova's three-point shot went in and out. Already another foul by Ohio State. It's going to be called on Celeste Taylor. So. We're seeing two fouls for each side already, and we're less than two minutes into the game. What do you make of all the fouls right away? You know, I think in a way I was anticipating that because it's going to be a very aggressive game on both sides. Like we said, they're very eager, and they're very evenly matched. When we look at J.C. Sheldon going up against Valade, style-wise, their style of play, it's going to be very even. A traveling violation on Tay Valade, turnover number three, for the Lady Lions with 8.14 left to go in the first quarter. So this is a sloppy play from Penn State so far. It has been, and that's exactly what they were looking to avoid coming into this game. So Ohio State starting off with a 2-0 lead, hoping to add more points. They got to a slow start in that Ohio University game. They're Sheldon for three. Off the back of the iron, Ohio State so far one for four from downtown. Leilani Kapanis. She'll move the ball around now as Penn State looking for their first points of the game. Here comes Valade. Gets called for the foul. They're going to call that a shooting foul on Rebecca Mikulashikova. As you said, a lot of fouls early on. And that's due to the, the strong defensive pressure we're seeing from both sides. So they're going to call that action on Cody McMahon. I saw the, ref, the referee, Kate Kim Hobbs, indicate 2-3, but I got it backwards with Rebecca and Cody. Cody, she was the Big Ten freshman of the year last year, but now Tay Valaday, the graduate guard, will come to the line to shoot two. 
She started off at Marquette, where Kaylin Krieger was the head coach in 2014 to 19. She recruited Valaday, wanted her to join the team, and got her in the transfer portal last year. She's averaging nine points and three rebounds this season. So the Chicago native having a pretty good impact so far for the Lady Lions off the bench. A low scoring game so far here on Sunday. Thanks for joining us on Big Ten Plus. It's JC Sheldon now. She'll move it around to Taylor Theory. Theory who's so clean on the inside, drives inside. But an offensive call against Theory, no basket. We're gonna get another look at it. Theory driving with her right hand. Look, I mean, I think, I didn't see her lean in at all, but that's just some great defense to take it like that. I mean, to completely plant your body, not move your hands. And here comes a steal and a turnover. Theory under the basket, she's being swarmed in a steal that's poked away by pin two. So an offensive foul called, way to take that by Celeste Taylor, the push off from Valade. It's getting aggressive early. It is, three offensive fouls already. Now this one, she pushed off, leaned down, pushed off with her shoulder. I think that was the fair call. Three fouls for Penn State, four for Ohio State, less than three minutes into this game. Skip pass to Celeste Taylor, the right wing. Back to Mikulashikova. Off the mark once again for Ohio State. Out of bounds on Penn State. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. This game has been gritty so far. Let's see Cody McMahon, the spin move off the backboard. Some good finishes by both teams thus far. And that's what we expect to see from Cody right there. So just finding her offensive groove. And there you see Cody on defense now. Tips it to Ricky Harris. What a pass. Looking like a quarterback out there is Ricky Harris to J.C. Sheldon. What a pass and what a finish. Not even a dribble needed by J.C. She went right into the layup. Swarming defense and a miss from Kapanis. Ricky Harris looking like Kyle McCord out there for a <laughs> quick second. And if Ohio State's looking for a new quarterback, it might be Harris. Look at this. We're going to see. And she threw it as a chess pass, too. Sheldon went right into it. Beautiful finish. Buckeyes are picking it up. Even more impressive it was a chess pass. That's a Yeah. I, you would expect overhead, but threw it from the chest. Or one arm, even. Yeah. If you're going to dial it back. So seven seconds left for Ohio State to get it across the halfway point. They do with ease. They break the press. Taylor outside. McMahon elected not to shoot. And the crowd wanted her to shoot. Puts in the end one, count the bucket for Cody McMahon. That's her sweet spot right there under the basket. McMahon now leads the way for Ohio State scoring attack with six of the 13 points. A 6-0 run for the Buckeyes. McMahon averages 71% from the free throw line this season. The sophomore from Centerville, Ohio. That shot's off to the left side and swarming defense from Celeste Taylor. Who does not love the call. And that's going to bring in somebody pretty special for Ohio State that we haven't seen this season. All the Buckeye fans up on their feet cheering for Madison Green. Her first time playing in a Buckeye uniform this season. Since December of 2022, she had a knee injury in 2021, another injury after coming back from the season prior to her other knee. And you see the brace she has on her left knee. So first time Madison Green checks into the game. 
the redshirt senior from Pickerington, Ohio. But at the line was Kapanis. He goes two for two at the line. And there's Green who will inbound the ball. She led the Big Ten in assists and steals for the entire month of November and part of December before she went down with the knee injury. So a key player for Ohio State. And now foul's going to be called on Penn State. Sheldon will go shoot two. You bring the presence of Madison Green now into play, another key player for Ohio State. What does she bring to the table? She plays a very clean game, which is needed, especially when it's this game has been pretty hectic so far. She plays very composed. She's a leader on the court. So there is no doubt her impact makes a big difference for Ohio State. There's J.C. Sheldon, one of the faces of Ohio State basketball and Big Ten basketball. We spoke to her family earlier today, her little sister Emmy, who just turned 16. She's her number one fan. She is. She said, you guys better interview my sister after the game. So Might have to happen, depending on the way J.C. plays today. Yes. Sheldon leads the way now, tied with six points as well. Good offense there from Marisa. Marisa, five points today. We've talked a lot about Ohio State's full court pressure, but Penn State, they've been applying a lot of full court pressure as well. Parks to Sheldon. What a find from the transfer from Michigan State in Tyre Parks. And that's the gamble you take when you have your defense full court like that. JC's able to cut back. She's super quick. JC Sheldon, Sheldon, she put her arms up in the air. Let's see the way Ohio State broke the press, though. Two shots for Tay Just an easy find for Tyre Parks as JC Sheldon was cutting right under the basket. And Valaday goes to the line. Head coach Kevin McGuff has a discussion with Tim Daly, the official. As Sheldon and him believed she went straight up with her arms. What did you see right there? You know, I think she went straight up as well, but when you know that these officials are leaning more towards calling the foul rather than not, that's something you have to adjust to and play a little more cautiously because Sheldon now has two fouls already in the first. Two fouls for J.C. Sheldon, as you just said, who has eight points today. And there she has the ball. Sheldon down the right side of the lane. It's just too easy sometimes for Sheldon. Marisa, one of the top scorers in the Big Ten. She just had the ball. She found Valaday, who's played nicely off the bench so far. Down the left side of the lane. The layup didn't go. Harris with the rebound. Here comes Sheldon in transition. McMahon, the spin move in the fadeaway. A little too short as Parks went up for it, and she's called for the foul. Now Tim... Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. She's doing a great job of rebounding all around. A huge asset to this team. Coach described her as one of the leaders, both on and off the court. Can't ask for much more than that. Ohio State's only played two players off the bench so far. Penn State, three. So depth is going to be challenged today between both sides. Taylor for three. And a big three from Celeste Taylor right out of the timeout. Four-point game, Penn State leads. Marisa pulls up for three, right back at you. It's McKenna Marisa with a big-time three. What a response right there. For the first few minutes of the game, Penn State didn't even take or attempt a shot, and that is changing now. They have found an offensive rhythm. Theory was challenged inside, threw the ball away to Mariah Murray. Penn State's running the court. It's Marisa, she thought about a three for the heat check. There's Marisa, driving inside. Rebound McMahon. Marisa just two points away from 1,800 career. There's Cody McMahon. Flies around, looks for the foul call, no call. Chesky for three. Penn State's hot right now. 
downtown seven of eight today. This is one of the top three-point shooting teams in the Big Ten. 6-0 run for the Lady Lions over one minute in this run right outside of the timeout. An entertaining game and a turnover. Lackadaisical pass, Chesky's gonna run the floor and an easy layup. Another timeout called by Ohio State. This Penn State team is showing flashes right now of why they're ranked in the top 25 in the country. For Kevin McGuff's team as they're trying to get some new rhythm and Emma Shoemate, she had her career high last game in that Ohio game, 22 points, six three-point makes. Yes, yeah, she led the Buckeyes in their victory over Ohio University. So I like this substitution. I think she adds a spark to Ohio State's offense, which they clearly need right now. 10-point game, Tyre Parks comes in, gets the easy two on inside. Parks and Brigham are going to be battling down low, but right now it's Murray against Harris. Harris, another one of those players that adds a spark. There's Chesky, she's so nifty inside. Doesn't get the friendly roll, dishes it outside. And the crowd is frustrated right now. Shoemate fell to the ground. JC Sheldon leading the point for Ohio State. Taylor drives inside. She tried to kick it out to Shoemate. Good tip by Penn State. That was Chesky with the good defense so far. She has 10 points today. Four assists, she's doing it all. She's one of the smaller players out on the court, arguably the smallest. She is, but it works to her advantage in a way because she's so quick. Tay Valade initiates some contact, called with the foul right here on the inbound play. So with Ohio State down 10 now, they're shooting just 17% from the outside. Is that where it's been hurting them today? Or has it been the nine turnovers? Or I is it something else? <laughs> or is it both? It could be. It could be. It could be both. Look, the turnovers are are never good. And I think the Buckeyes need to limit those. There's some it shooting from the outside. Three. three for JC Sheldon. Much needed for this Ohio State team. Now down seven. We just talked about the shooting. And Ohio State's able to do that. But could Penn State respond with a deep three? Mariah Murray wanted that shot from the left wing, but here comes Celeste Taylor. She lost her dribble. She'll pull it out. Shoemate, one of the best three-point shooters for the Buckeyes. They've got to get her open on the wing. As we said, she had six threes. Celeste Taylor, the deep two in Ohio State on a 5-0 run within the last 30 seconds. Celeste Taylor, she's the... Big Ten Player of the Week. She was named that on Monday. A foul's going to be called on Ohio State. Ricky Harris, Harris, Harris will be called her first, her first of the game. One. That's the team's first of the quarter, so very opposite of the way the first quarter went in terms of fouls. Clearly they made some adjustments, which is great to see. They regrouped after the first quarter and made the necessary adjustments. Penn State started off hot to open up the second quarter, now on a scoring drought of over two minutes. And here's the Celeste Taylor shot from earlier, the deep two. A good handle on the ball and really helped Ohio State out when needed. Definitely, Taylor is such a great addition to this team. She was named to the USBWA National Player of the Week starting five. It's been a big week for her. She had the double-double in the Tennessee game one week ago where Ohio State went to Knoxville and took down number 20, Tennessee. Sheldon from the baseline. Big time shot, four point deficit for Ohio State. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. It's to go in the first half. Marisa throws it up to bring him off Penn State last. And now Ohio State is really trying to shut down Marisa. But she has 18 points, five rebounds today. She's a problem. 
She is, and the Buckeyes have not been able to find an answer to shutting her down. She'll check out of the game for her first time of the day for Kylie Lavelle, the sophomore forward from Music, Pennsylvania, and a Drexel transfer. Cody. Lave Lavelle averaging five points. My apologies, Hannah. No, you're good. I was saying Cody McMahon's also back in the game. Sheldon, she'll pull from the elbow. And Ohio State can't find shots from the mid-range right now. Brigham sworn by Mikulashikova. Odin Murray both won the ball. There's Lavelle. She's making her presence known as she just got into the game. 12-point lead once again for Penn State. They were up 12 earlier, 41 to 29. Now it's 50 to 38. Two minutes to go in the first half. Sheldon, the only player for the Buckeyes in double digits. Shoemates three. Off the mark once again, Ohio State is cold. Penn State on an 8-0 run. Can they extend it right here on this possession? Brigham sets the screen. And another screen from Lavelle's. Chesky goes inside. Good defense from Shoemain. Here comes with a full head of steam. Cody McMahon outside to Taylor. Almost rejuvenated the crowd. It swirled around. Buckeyes are taking the right shots. Great open shot. They're just not falling. Moving screen called on Ali Brigham. Brigham's second personal of the game. And that's big for Ohio State right now, right now to get some momentum, possibly going to halftime with just a minute 19 to go. What do you need to see from Ohio State to end this first half? You know, they just checked Taylor Theory in. I think they can get her in the offensive mix. I'd love to obviously see Sheldon get another bucket on the board. Cody McMahon, I think she's eager to contribute more today. Sheldon outside. Mikulashikova foot was on the line. Theory rebound. We talked about her presence. She's trying to go out for the ball, but Marisa comes down with it. Theory, she only has two points today, but she had 15 against Ohio University. Traveling call on Jayla Odin. The swarming defense from Cody McMahon. She was fired up there. 15 seconds between shot clock and game clock for the first half. A second quarter that's gone Penn State's way the entire time. Skip past to Theory. Now Sheldon's gonna go to work, but she dishes it outside to McMahon. McMahon with the handles less than 10 on the shot clock. The spin move and a nifty finish for Cody McMahon to bring this within a 10 point game. Shot clock turned off with 10 to go. McKenna Marisa, she's been dangerous today with 18. Will she take the last shot? She gives it up to Lavelle. Misses, McMahon's gonna have to put it up. It will count if it goes. It was close, but nonetheless, Penn State's second quarter was how they're up 10. 24 to 14, they outscored. Not a good record when trailing at halftime for McGuff's team. Can Ohio State avoid a loss in their column for number two of the season? This be big as conference play just starts between both teams. And Ohio State knows how important conference play is. And Carolyn Keeger told us this week, conference play means everything especially in such a competitive Big Ten, she called it arguably the best conference in America. Ohio State also 21 and 22 all time against ranked teams at home, looking to make it 22 to 22 today. Sheldon has some trouble inbounding the ball. Taylor secures it against Marisa. Taylor goes inside. Popped out by Theory, but Penn State ball. We talked about Marisa earlier. There she is, who gives it up to Chesky. Hannah mentioned her for three. Penn State's firing in all cylinders to open up the second half. Big time three. 13 points for Chesky now. She's three for four from the three-point line. 
Largest lead of the day for the Nittany Lions, 13 points. Celeste Taylor inside of Mikulashkova, extra feed to Cody McMahon. Drives near the baseline, she's gonna have to put it up. She gets the friendly bounce. There's the first free throw make. Even she can't believe it. <laughs> She's like, finally, took this long. And now these free throws are really going to count down the stretch. You're seeing the difference in free throw percentage. And the crowd's excited. And the energy starting to pick up here at Value City Arena. Ohio State down 61-53, but Chesky almost silenced the crowd. Rebound Celeste Taylor. She'll run the floor and slow things down. 61-53, Ohio State's outscoring Penn State in this quarter by two points. McMahon inside for two, right over Jayla Odin. Marisa loses control of the ball. She gets the three though, in and out. Ohio State. They find J.C. Sheldon, a foul's going to be called on Penn State. Frustrations erupt for Penn State's team as they huddle up. A lot of fast pace back and forth. And it all got started with this great bucket from Cody McMahon. She's now leading the Buckeyes. She has 16 points. She has surpassed Sheldon, who's at the free throw line now. Sheldon yet to score in the second half, but she has played the most minutes out of any player in this game. She's been on the court for 28 minutes so far. And where she really helps is the free throw line today, 5-0-5. Five five. Cuts this to a five point game. 16 points for Sheldon, 16 points for McMahon. A two possession game here in Columbus. Plenty of time to go, and we're just in the third quarter, and you can feel the intensity. Odin, extra pass to Chesky. Good defense from Ohio State. Missed layup there from Penn State. Odin's down on the ground. Sheldon goes up, gets the friendly bounce. We have an injury down. Standing ovation for this Buckeyes crowd. Let's listen in. Due to time constraints, we that now move ahead. killed the mood here at Value City Arena. I didn't even have time to say what I thought should happen, and they made it happen in a split second. Quick offense from this Penn State team with Kapanis at the line. She's two for two today. Gets her own rebound up against McMahon, puts it up, and it's good. Just one second to go. Harris gonna have to put it up. It counts if it goes. Off the basket, end of the quarter, and we're going to have a review to see if Cody McMahon's shot went in. 68-61, Penn State ended up up seven. What a big change of events within that last minute right there. It's been a fun one, but Penn State showing their true colors today. Shot clock violation. So Ohio State stripped of two points. J.C. Sheldon for three. Big time shot to open up the fourth quarter from no one else but J.C. Sheldon. Sheldon's the leading scorer today with 22 for Ohio State. A much needed J.C. Sheldon game for the Scarlet and Gray. It hasn't happened in a little while. That's her second three point shot of the day. Two possession game. Penn State playing real well today. Kapanis. Her shot rolled around, Ohio State ball. Great defense by Sheldon. You can tell she's making the adjustments. They're calling a lot of fouls. So she had her arms straight up. She was not moving with it. Miku Washikoa finds McMahon the seal in the finish. 
four point game. Carolyn Keeger and this Penn State team looking for their signature win for the start of their 2023 season. Chesky, she walked with the ball this time. Turnover for Penn State, 16th of the day. And you know, turnover is something they struggled with against West Virginia. And they were looking to limit those today. 26 against West Virginia. But 16 so far today and, and still eight and a half minutes left to play. Miku Lashikova in the corner. Gives it to Sheldon. Ohio State moving the ball around. Outside, Celeste Taylor. Off the back of the iron, she looked to make this a one possession game, but it stays at two. Penn State scoreless in this fourth quarter. They're shooting better than Ohio State today at 54% clip from the field. Chesky with just six on the shot clock. Pulls up from the elbow. Ohio State rebound. McMahon uses her body. Rebound Ohio State. Contact. And Kylie Lavelle is going to be called with the foul. That's a lot going on. There's a lot, there's a lot going on and we're going to look at it again. Taylor Theory was battling for the ball. And she won that battle. She won that battle. Sheldon gives up the Theory. Five seconds on the shot clock. Penn State's defense has been sound. Here comes Cody McMahon. McMahon, the finger roll off the glass. One possession game. McKenna Marisa has the ball, only two points in this half, 18 in the first. Less than 10 for Marisa, the pull back. McMahon secures another rebound, seventh of the day for her. The crowd bringing the energy for Ohio State. Sheldon, outside, for the lead. It's good! Miku Wachikoma with the lead. How did they get on the board? You know, I think they go back to the basics, which we might see here. But Very good not, trapped. So, not so easy with Ohio State's defense. Marisa's basket off. Rebound Ohio State. Marisa forced into a shot that she wouldn't typically take, but she was sort of backed into a corner. 10 to 0 is the score in the fourth quarter. And Ohio State's outscoring and outdoing everything within the first few minutes. A Cuddy McMahon inside. Good defense by Kapanis. She has the ball. And McMahon's on the ground. Gets it to Chesky. Chesky, Marisha. Chesky rebound. Penn State will slow things down. A fresh 20 was on the shot clock after the miss. 10 seconds. Chesky gets the pick. To Kapanis for three, the pump fake. Inside, all alone, and Penn State has taken the lead back. What a move by Leilani Kapanis to take back what Penn State has had for a majority of the game, and that is the lead. J.C. Sheldon, the mid-range shot off that time. Contact down low. Penn State, Marisa's going quick. The step back. Off the back of the iron, Kapanis tried to hit it. Rebound Sheldon. Less than five minutes of play 
here at Value Sydney Arena. Penn State looking to avoid two losses in a row. Celeste Taylor, the pump fake. What a finish, and Ohio State has taken another lead, 71-70. It's gonna be a close one to finish it out. But again, it just rings true that these teams are so similar. Similar styles of play. But neither one is letting up, and that's what we like to see. Marisa, blocked by Taylor. They're going to call a foul, though. I think with the body, Hannah, what did you see there on that call? I think it, it was the body contact. We're going to look again. Marisa driving the lane. It, it's tough to tell. It's tough to tell from that angle. In real time, it, it was also tough because you saw the ball get blocked, but the hip checks can happen, and that is where the foul could be called. Exactly. That's the first foul of the quarter for Ohio State. Celeste Taylor, four fouls. And the make for Marisa Taylor will check out the game for Ricky Harris. Number one, Ricky Harris Taylor. Harris, just three points today. Not much of Emma Shumi in this game for Ohio State. Just five minutes of play, and she had 22 last game. I think it comes down to which styles of play are better. Taylor Theory with the bucket to put the Buckeyes up. Theory has seven points now. Ohio State led in the first quarter, and that was it until this fourth quarter. Up two. Harris takes the charge. What a call inside. Kapanis initiated contact. Harris kept her feet still. You can hear Buckeye fans chanting, let's go Bucks." A fired up crowd, two fired up teams. Miku Ashikova and Brigham battling down low. Who's going to win this battle? It's Miku Ashikova. The spin move in the hook. Four point lead for Ohio State. Marisa gets the layup to go. Penn State's not going away anytime soon. Seventy-five, seventy-three. Two minutes and thirty-five seconds to go. Ohio State's moving around. They're going to have to shoot. It's Miku Lashikova. She's been hot today. Good boxing out by Penn State for the miss. Oh, Ohio State, can they hold their ground? They've only led up five points in this quarter. Marisa thought about the three. Pulls up for two and one. Penn State, they've tied things up. McKenna Marisa. Bucket. Dominant with 25 points so far in this game. McKenna Marisa finds a way to score. She most certainly did that time, and with the contact, she goes to the line. She's been incredible today. Nothing short of greatness. Greatness, 25 points so far. Eight rebounds, three assists. Marisa reclaims the Penn State lead with two minutes to go. Timeout, Ohio State. 30 second timeout by the Buckeyes. 76 75. You're Ohio State. What do you need to do? Buckeyes need to. I'd say get it in the hands of J.C. Sheldon or Cody McMahon, those who have been extremely reliable.
Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. State. We have ourselves a battle here in Columbus. Back and forth, both teams dominant on offense and defense. Celeste Taylor pulls up for two. Way off that time. Good offensive rebound by Theory. Theory inside. She tried to lay one in. Now it's pinned two. Deep three, Marisa off the rim. That could have been a big one. Both teams each have a timeout and overtime to use if needed. Sheldon, she was fouled on the floor. They're actually going to now call this a shooting foul as she was in the motion. And that's also Pintu's fifth foul. A lot of foul trouble for this Penn State team. Here's J.C. Sheldon. Look at that move from Sheldon. Didn't go in because she was fouled, but she's a great Buckeye to go to the free throw line. As we mentioned earlier, she's six for six today with free throws. But as you said, Penn State in some foul trouble, losing some key players. They've had 29 personal fouls today compared to Ohio State's 15. So a big difference in the contact. And Jayla Odin's back on the bench for Penn State after she went down earlier in the second half. And J.C. Sheldon makes both of her free throws. Penn State scoreless in overtime. Brigham, she's been quiet in the second half. Looks around for Murray. Marisa loses control of possession. She'll have to put it up. The reverse, no good. Rebound, Celeste Taylor. What do you think of the defense there, Hannah? I think the defensive efforts have been so strong. I think Ohio State seems more in control of these overtime minutes. McMahon puts it up with one hand. Big time shot from the sophomore. She has 25 today. Big time three, Chesky, no good. Now important to note, each team does have one 30 second timeout they can use during overtime. The Buckeyes score again, I think Penn State might be using theirs. Five point advantage for the Scarlet and Gray. Sheldon, down the lane, pulls up for two. Big shot, J.C. Sheldon and McKenna Marisa's down on the floor. Penn State's leading scorer looks to be in bad shape. Foul will be drawn by Chesky. She'll shoot two at the line. J.C. Sheldon and McMahon combining for 43 points in the relationship. Shows the show it's working. They've both done an outstanding job. And as we said, they're both reliable. You can always count on them to Two produce shots. offensively. Buckeyes are in a comfortable spot now. Up eight with a minute left. JC Sheldon and Celeste Taylor each have four fouls apiece. But important to note, JC had two fouls in the first quarter. So she's been able to spread those out. Grace Hall is checked into the game for the Nittany Lions with a minute to go. Murray tried to steal it away. And Ohio State breaks the press. Ohio State will chew some clock off now. Seven point game. Sheldon is fouled, and that is the player that's been the best at the free throw line today. But it seems as if Penn State had no other option. Coach Keeger was on the sideline yelling at them, foul, foul, and, and none of them were going and making the contact. So 
seemed like that was their, their last resort was to foul Sheldon. Sheldon, 26 points today. Gets the friendly bounce. Sheldon, 100% at the free throw line today. This will be your 10th free throw shot. Timeout, Penn State, their final timeout of overtime. And Ohio State outscored the Lady Lions 11 to two in the five minutes of overtime we've had with just 39 seconds to go. Penn State is being told by Carolyn Krieger what exactly, because they're down nine points with not a lot of time left. Obviously they have to go for the three ball. That's gotta be their first option. And you know, I think Shesky's a great option for that three ball. She's made three so far today. She has 19 points. And then she's likely telling them what she was yelling for the sideline. When the Bucks get the ball again, they need to foul immediately so they can send Ohio State to the line. Penn State's Jayla Odin, good to see her back in the game. After she went down earlier, she'll send the pass in. Brigham with the handoff to Odin. Odin, the layup, off the mark, Brigham recovers with the two. Sheldon will hold on to the ball, and a foul will be called. Sheldon will go to the line to shoot two. There's that foul they needed right away, but again, not the best person they can foul. JC Sheldon, 10 for 10 from the free throw line. I think her sister Emmy would be happy with this performance today. That's her first free throw miss. It is. I can't help but think AJ, Emmy, the rest of the Sheldon family from right around here in Dublin, Ohio. She has 29 points. Her career high is 33 in 2022. Now her new season high is 29. Odin under the basket. Taylor gets down with the rebound, but an over the back foul on Penn State. Penn State foul number 14. Foul number 14 of this quarter plus overtime. It's been a foul heavy day. It has. It's finishing how it started with the fouls. And it started with Ohio State winning. And it seems as if Ohio State, up eight right now, could secure a victory. They're in a good position to make that happen. But you never know. This Penn State team gritty. And they're described as some of the gym rats, so they could make some music. Timeout, Penn State. Penn State takes a timeout. They use their final remaining timeout with 21 seconds on the clock. Carolyn Keeger talks to her team down eight. No McKenna Marisa. How quickly do they need to go? Because they have to run the floor. They need to move quickly and they need to get a shot off as quickly as they do when they take it inbounds from under their basket they get it going and they score instantly they drive the lane we need to see a quick offensive execution and i have said the last few times she must be drawing up a play for a three ball this time i am confident that is what she's drawing up because there is only a limited time left to play 21 seconds on the clock and they're down by eight they they need something quick Penn State's hit their exact mark of where they average points per game this season. 84 points they came into averaging this game. They're at 84 right now. That's third in the Big Ten. Ohio State also averaging 84 points. Comes in at fourth in the Big Ten because of the difference of 0 .1, 83.9 to 83.8. That's pretty phenomenal stuff. That is. And obviously playing in those extra five minutes of overtime helps rack up. Most definitely as Sheldon is fouled. About four seconds are taken off the clock. 
And a valiant effort by Penn State, but a good tip by McMahon. The sophomore who is a preseason All-American. And Cody McMahon and JC Sheldon, preseason All-Big Ten first team, sinks the first free throw. Sheldon, 31 points today. Penn State's gonna have to go quick, but they turn it over. Chesky will swarm Sheldon, but it seems as if Penn State's going to back off. A valiant effort from Penn State. The comeback from Ohio State heads to overtime, and the Buckeyes stay undefeated at home. Move to 8-1 and one on the year, 1-0 and oh in conference play, and have a win against a top 25 opponent. Some great play in the last fourth quarter in overtime. Secures a big win at home in front of a great crowd. J.C. Sheldon, season high, 31 points. Excellent execution. She played every minute of this game, all four quarters and overtime. She was never substituted for, and her efforts showed on the court. Now for Penn State, they were led 